Hello traders and welcome back to another video. This is Randy Top Investing. Now in today's video, we want to explore the best way and the most profitable method of analyzing your market from the higher time frame down to your lower time frame. Alright? But before we go deep into our discussion, let me say this that you need to understand these five major rules if you must treat the smart money concept successfully five major rules what are they number one is that you need to understand your market structure as soon as you open your chart the first thing you need to determine before you do anything on your chart is to find out where market is heading is it heading up is it heading down or is it in the consolidation stage you need to determine that one first and in doing that you need to make use of the higher time frame your higher time frame could be your monthly could be your weekly daily h4 all right but you need to understand what your higher time frame is doing before you do anything on your chart that's the first rule Rule number two is that after you have identified your structure, I mean your trend in the market, the next thing is to identify your trading range. Now, in terms of trading, in terms of trading range, I've spoken extensively about trading ranges in my past videos. You can do well to check our playlist, our YouTube playlist, and listen to these videos, to, 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 to the videos containing this content before you come to this one to have a proper understanding all right and then rule number three is that locate your point of interest now listen your point of interest must always come from your higher time frame your reference point before you ever scale down to the lower time frame your reference point must come from your higher time frame your point of interest must come from a higher time frame and then number four rule is that when you have located your ob all right now you need to now scale down to your lower time frame whatever low, lower time frame you use in entering the market but i have a time frame combo that I, i'm going to explain to you because if you are on h4 if you use h4 as your higher time frame then you need to skip h1 and go to maybe m5 i mean m30 or m15 all right for your lower time frame the first lower time frame you can go to from your h4 higher time frame is either m30 or m15 from there you can begin to scale down even to the one minute all right now if you are using daily time frame you want to skip h4 as your lower time frame you want to go as low as first of all h1 as your lower time frame when you have identified what is going on or determine what is going on on your h1 then you go to other lower time frames all right that is the time frame combo that you must take to heart so the number four rule is to go understand your lower time frame structure shift take note structure market structure shift all right what do i mean i mean that if on your higher time frame like the h4 for instance is a bullish structure you want to go to your lower time frame all right to also wait for a structure shift to go bullish in alignment with your higher time frame structure do you understand that as simple as that and then the last rule i want you to take note of is to ask yourself where is the money in the market where is liquidity liquidity is the fuel of the market don't forget that now having said that let's jump right into uh, our top-down analysis now what do you want to do with your higher time frame your higher time frame like i explained is mainly to determine your bias your directional bias that is what your higher time frame is meant for okay now so here we are looking at euro dollar and monthly 
time frame i'm starting from the monthly here now why am i using this euro dollar as a case study is because this is the trade i took just this past week this week that has just ended all right is the trade i took that fetched me about 1 to 30 rr all right now i publish this setup in the uh, uh, on trading view all right i also posted it on our free telegram group i posted the step by step all right as price was developing i posted the thing on our free telegram group so you can go to our free telegram group and search for it if you just type in euro usd update then you will find those things there all right so here is euro usd i'm starting from the monthly time frame now as you can see from the monthly time frame all right we have a structure break here all right we have a structure break all right remember that price has been breaking lows breaking lows and coming into this place and uh, where while it's breaking the lows is protecting the highs can you see that protecting the highs and now price came here for the first time it broke through this high all right what does that tell you it tells you that this is it has a bullish intent it's trying to shift structure all right on the monthly and then as you can see it created this higher high and then pull back and created another higher high before pulling that pull, pulling back all right so this is a bullish intent so what do we do this is a bullish structure now so this ob is the ob that sponsored the move up that broke structure all right that's the ob that sponsored the move up that broke structure can you see that guys now that ob when price returned to it it reacted off of it on the monthly time frame all right it reacted off of it and price went up and again take a look price also broke this structure here all right price broke structure here again to the upside can you see that guys it broke that structure let me this thing is not set. let me do it good all right so it broke structure there to the upside can you see that so where is the uh the ob that gave rise to that break of structure where is the ob that gave rise to that break of structure it is this ob here so if you move this ob from here to this new ob here now all right we move it to this new ob as you can see price broke structure went up and came back and as you can see price is already reacting off of this monthly poi here can you see that so what can we deduce from this monthly is that price is going bullish so we are in a bullish structure all right now if we go down to weekly time frame what can we find is there other things other details we can find on the weekly time frame well there is no other detail we can find except that we can refine this monthly ob to this weekly ob here can you see that so we can refine that we can refine that right away okay to this very ob here can you see that can refine it to that ob all right so that's our weekly uh, monthly ob refined to weekly ob now we go to daily time frame what can we find follow me step by step guys just follow me step by step this is what you need to be doing every day every time you go to your chart to end to want to enter a trade all right so now on the daily time frame do we have any let's look at daily time frame is there any more details than what we have seen on the monthly and weekly well no we can see that price broke structure here this is the source of this movement this is the origin of this movement right so we are still bullish on daily time frame but then we can refine our ob to this i mean our monthly uh, point of interest to this very ob this daily ob here we can refine it so can we do that we can refine it let's see what we can do we can refine it yes it's possible to refine 
So let's see what we can do to refine the OB. All right. Let's uh, let's see. Let's reduce it again for us to get the refinement. All right. So now we can refine to that OB. All right. So let's refine. This is the OB here. Aha. So we can refine it to this OB here. All right. Can you see that? So that's our monthly OB that we have refined to weekly and the daily OB. All right. So let's move forward. As you can see, price has come into this our daily ob all right now it's reacting off of it now when price came to this daily ob let's play price let's use the replay tool to cut price from here and see what is happening all right now price has come into our ob our higher time frame point of interest isn't it now we have determined from the monthly weekly daily that we are bullish isn't it now let's drop down to four hour and see if we can get more details other than going bullish all right let's see on four hour what is happening now on the four hour you can see that price now let's zoom out again you can see on four hour all right that price broke structure here we can have more details from here that price broke structure on the 4R. Right? Price broke structure on the 4R. Can you see that? Price broke structure there. Alright? And drop into this higher time frame OB. Alright? So where is the uh, where is the OB? That sponsored this break of structure it is this OB here all right is this OB here let me show it to you it is this OB here this OB all right now but take a look at this candle here this doji candle this doji candle went up remember it was a, a, a full body candle before a bullish candle before it retraced and turned into a doji candle leaving this week here why do you think this week is here it's on purpose guy it's on purpose it is to clear the liquidity resting above these two candles here can you see that it also is on purpose so if you are marking out your ob you will need to also include the high of this week because smart money sometimes can go to this high all right can they can go as far as this high so you need to include your ob you need to include the high in marking out your ob so here is our ob now all right here is our ob is that right that's our ob let's make it a aha that's our ob guys that's our ob so we want to drag the ob out all right now drag it out that ob if you drag it out as you can see all right on the h4 price broke structure here leaving this ob all right now price has bumped into this very higher time frame ob we are waiting for opportunity to take price from here and target this very uh, point of interest here can you see that so we want to go bullish we want to take price from here to target this point of interest but as it is now price is not showing us any anything yet as to uh, opportunity to enter the market going long so let's continue to play price now take note when i came into the chat on this pair when i open my chart price was somewhere here let me show you uh i think i think price was somewhere 
here. Price was somewhere here. All right? I think so. When I opened my chart, I saw price here. All right? Now, let's, as you can see, I've told you, there is no opportunity here. This H4 is not presenting us any opportunity to enter the market. All right? I like to and I like, like to take trades that are clear. I, I like to take clear setups. I like to take clear uh, order blocks. I don't like all this confusion in the market. I wait until I see a very clear setup. That's the way I trade. So because I couldn't find anything here on this H4, I now had to drop down to H1 to see if I can find a point of interest to take the market higher, targeting this uh, higher uh, OB here. All right? And so, when I went to H1, you can see that price is pretty much in a range. But when I got to H1, I now discovered that price has broken structure here. Take a look at it. Price has broken structure here. To the upside am i right yes price has broken structure there to the upside can you see that where is the ob that sponsored this push up that broke structure it is this ob here all right it is this ob here so i saw that ob i said okay so where is if you find this is an ob and then you have another candle that has this long way down remember this week was a full body candle before coming down it was a bearish candle before all right before the bulls push price up and then turn it to bullish candle all right so this week here is on purpose it is sponsored to capture the liquidity resting below this news remember i told you where is the money so it is to capture all the liquidity resting below this news here can you see that now this week if you go to your lower time frame if you will find this if you want to find out this week as you see it's a way of refinement this week is an ob if you go to your lower time frame all right so what did i do i had to mark out that ob because it has already produced a break of structure and i had to mark it out all right as my h1 OB. Alright? That's my H1 OB. Let's. Alright? So that's my H1 OB. Can you see that? Now, let me drag it out. Let me drag it out very well. Alright? So, we are now on H1, isn't it? Price has gone up. So my expectation is that price should come to this one hour, this H1 OB. Price should come in there. All right? To go higher. Now, if you're an aggressive trader, as soon as price comes into this H1 OB, you can take your trade higher. But remember, that is a risk entry. All right? You can take your trade higher. Because you cannot confirm that when price comes here, that this OB here will hold price. Price can simply come here and break through the OB and continue going down. All right? So, but if you are aggressive, you, if your risk appetite is high, you can decide to take your trade directly from this one hour OB. All right? Now, let's play price. One price to come into the OB. Price is ranging. Now, as you can see, Price has tapped into the OB. We have gone too far. Let's cut it. Let's start from here. Price has tapped into this OB. Let's see. Let's play price. And let it tap into that OB. Okay. So price has now tapped into this OB. Can you see that? As soon as price tap into this OB, what are you supposed to do? You go down your lower time frame again. All right? you go down to the lower time frame again in this case 15 minutes so we go down to 15 minutes all right we go down to 15 minutes and see what 15 minutes wants to do 
now the price has tapped into this very one hour OB. We want to see what the 15 minutes want to do. So let's play price and see what is happening. Now price has come into that 15 minutes OB. All right? Price has come into that 15 minutes OB. And take a look at what happened. When price came into the 15 minutes, I mean, came into the 15 minutes OB again. Now this is what happened. You need to start reading structure immediately price came remember price first tapped on the h1 time frame as soon as price taps on the h1 time frame we scale down to the 15 minutes time frame all right we are now on the 15 minutes time frame and this is what 15 minutes time frame has done now all right price has broken structure here take a look structure is broken here can you see that that structure is broken there all right leaving this will be here so you can decide to take a trade from this will be here this is a more confirmed entry than the one on the h1 you understand that guys it's a more confirmed entry than the h1 so you drag it out all right let's drag it out very well because price is ranging here all right so this is a more confirmed entry than this the one on h1 it gives you a better risk to reward if price goes your way <coughs> sorry guys it gives you a better risk to reward if price goes your way now you have identified your m15 ob now you are waiting for price to come to tap into the ob and take you higher all right so let's continue to play price and see See how market is ranging and now price came into that your uh 15 minutes ob can you see price has tapped into the 15 minutes ob all right price has tapped into that 15 minutes ob so let's continue to play price it should take you into the market now now remember remember as you enter the market you need to watch your the, the 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 how price is developing you need to watch how price is developing so that in case there is a new development you'll be able to know how to uh, close your trade or take partials and all that all right so let's stretch this out you can see price is still ranging price is still ranging so let's continue to play price and see Price has not right. Price that has now tapped into your 15 minutes uh, uh, OB. Price has now tapped into your 15 minutes OB. All right. Now remember that there was an opportunity to enter trade here again. This this other block here. All right. No no no. It was not another block. It was not another block. Sorry. Now, price has tapped into your 15 minutes OB again. Remember, price tapped here and went up and was ranging, 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 and came back to the same M15 OB. Can you see that? Now, what made price to come back to the same M15 OB? If price was going to move higher when it tapped into this 15 minutes OB, it's supposed to move higher. Why is it coming back into the same? point of interest that's and it ranged it ranged all through before coming back into the point into the same point of interest why did it do that you need to understand and read your structure in the market why is price doing that now as you can see price came back and now formed it created this equal lows here can you see this equal lows can you see this equal lows here can you see that equal lows what does that tell you it tells you that liquidity is resting below this low here and i posted this too on our free telegram group all right when i located when i discovered this equal lows i equally posted this on our free youtube uh, uh, 
a group you can go there to find out all right you should know you should be monitoring price if you are trading intraday then you need to monitor the movement of price how price is developing now take a look price as from equal lows liquidity is resting below here be sure that smart money will have to push price down to clear the liquidity resting here before they will move price higher i posted that on our free telegram group so let's continue to play price and see what happened let's continue to play it and see what happened price is ranging let's still push straight this one out and stretch this out too let's continue to play price patience is key in this business all right see how long it has taken me to wait for this setup to play out fully all right took me a long time to wait for it to play out now let's continue to play price if you are not patient you jump into the market and you get stopped out can you see that let me stretch this thing out i want you to capture every moment of it so that you know how we enter the market all right so let's continue to play can you see that pr price has taken that liquidity and has broken below this your m15 ob all right immediately you see the equal lows if you had entered the market and you saw the equal lows what are you supposed to do you are supposed to close your trade all right you're supposed to close your trade or move your stop loss below this your h1 point of interest all right that's what you are supposed to do because immediately you see equal lows that show signal to you that price money is uh, price uh, spot money is likely to push price down to capture that liquidity before moving higher all right so let's continue to play price and see what is happening let's continue to play price now can you see that can you see what is happening i've told you you must know how to read your structure in the market now price didn't break below this one hour poi can you see that now you have to begin to read structure as price is developing as you can see price came to this low push up to form this high push down again to form this low and push up again to break this high here take a look at this high this high is broken here this, this is the high this high is taken out here can you see that that high is taken out where is the candle the the, the op that sponsored this high to break structure that sponsored this move to break structure where is the high i mean where is the op here is your op this bearish candle here this is the last last bearish candle before the move that broke structure all right so this is your ob but now there is a candle beside that ob to the right as you can see this week of this candle took out the week of this previous candle this ob it took out the, that week of that ob meaning that this week here guys is an ob if you move down to lower time frame you discover that this is an ob you understand that guys so what i simply did was to mark out that will be but if you are not comfortable with the weak trick then you can use the whole body candle as your ob all right for me i like trading with tight stop loss all right so i took that as my ob all right i took that as my ob I took that as my ob just uh, just want to drag it out that's my ob all right
So, I took that as my hobby. And let's continue to play price and see what price is doing. Remember, this, your 15 minutes OB has already been violated. So, you remove that. Alright? So, this is the OB we are trading with now. So, let's continue to play price. Now, as you can see, price came back and tapped into that OB. And let's see what is happening. It tapped into the OB and start moving up. Now, when you... I forgot to tell you about something. Now, this OB here, you can take the 50% of this OB or the full OB. Alright? Or you scale down to your 5 minutes. If you scale down to 5 minutes, you can still refine that OB. Let's see. Can we refine the OB? Alright? Okay. You can still refine the OB on 5 minutes. I'm not going to tell you how to refine this one. But you can refine the OB to this OB here. Alright? You can refine it to that OB there. Can you see that? Now, that is your OB. Price has tapped into it. And price started moving. Let's play price. Price started moving up. Can you see? Price started moving up. Are you following me, guys? Now, because this is... You can as well... You can as well go down to the one minute to find your trade. Alright? But I'm not going to go as far as that. This video is already taking too long. So, let's go back to the 15 minutes. So that we can play price to be faster than it is now. Alright? So, let's continue to play price. Remember our target. Alright? Can you see that? Can you see the movement? Now, let's get to the 4 hour. Let's get to the 4 hour. Remember, this was our target. On the 4 hour. This is our target. Alright? On this 4 hour. Alright? So, let's continue to play price. Now, I don't expect you... Now, remember again that another confluence you need to also observe is that on the 4 hour, there was this liquidity here. I've said that before in my previous video that once you see liquidity in front of your OB, it tells you that that OB is, has high probability to work out. That price will come into that OB and could react off of that OB. Alright? So, now, this is where price is. Remember, you are supposed, I expect you to begin to take partials as price is playing out in your favor. Alright? So, let's continue to play price. Alright. Now, you can see price came as close to this our target. Alright? Before pushing down. Now, for me, I took this trade after immediately it broke this high here. Alright? I took my profit from there and vacated the market. Do you understand that, guys? I vacated the market from there. Alright? So, that is the simplest way to do your top-down analysis. Move from your monthly, weekly, daily, whichever one is your higher time frame. All you need for your higher time frame is to determine the direction of the market. That's all. If you find an OB, maybe on H, I mean daily or H4, you mark it out. But you must work from your higher time frame point of interest down to the lower time frame. Alright? Once price taps into your higher time frame OB, you move down to your lower time frame and begin to look for structure shift. That meaning a break of structure. Simple as that. It's not a difficult thing. Well, guys, we have come to the end of this video. And if you have any questions, if you still have some questions or opinions, please drop it in the comment box below. All right? If you have any questions bothering you at all about top-down analysis, about how to take higher time frame tra uh, OB and play it on lower time frame, please let me know in the comment section below. Alright guys, 
we call it a day and uh, i want to say have a very wonderful day